all live with that struggle of never having anything to eat in the house when the fridge is empty and there's no milk but you got cereal and you gotta eat cereal with water but like this video comment down below and subscribe to my youtube channel hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm ayati karate here jumping at you because the milk is gone and you're starving nobody cares about your health Okay. Now you're in college, you think, oh, since I'm not at home, they're gonna cook more often. They're gonna have more food in the fridge, the the caberas, you know, the cabinets and everything, everywhere. You know, there's gonna be food everywhere, so nobody starves, and nobody goes through hunger. Okay, but no, it's not like that, bro. Not like that at all. They care even less about the food being in the house because you're not there. And you're going through your whole semester of college like, man, I miss home cooking, you know? The food that I grew up eating, my culture food, everything that I need, baby. But now you're just like, every break they don't cook it anyway, so I don't know what I'm missing. Cereal with water? That's what it seems like I'm missing. I've been craving some Spanish food, and I talked to my friends about it like, oh yeah, it's so good. Like, y'all don't even know what y'all missing out on. Y'all gotta come over, my mom and my cook, you know, some patelitos, dones con queso frito, you already know, un chine salami, I don't know, some mangu, like something, you know, something so I can show them, like, y'all been missing out on my culture, like, y'all been missing out, missing out, but you go home and you're like, oh yeah, I forgot, she don't cook no more, I gotta cook for myself, I don't even know how to cook properly. But you know I'm so hungry that I will, I will, I will rush the process, man. Me thinking that putting it at a higher temperature is gonna cook it faster and it's gonna be ready to cook. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, come on, bro, mama, just, just come, cook for me and then go about your day. So now I gotta go to the cafeteria and eat, which the cafeteria is not the same because it's not so good cooking that makes your belly feel so warm when your heart gets butter. And everything changes, your mood changes, your appearance, your skin tone, and your whole day is lifted by that food. It makes you feel And I'm a big food lover. Like food and me get along so well. Very well. Very, very well. And y'all understand, y'all think I'm playing. I, I took everything for granted. Because I miss it now. I miss eating some home good, cook good food. And you know, the holidays are the only time you can embrace, embrace that food because that's the only time they're gonna cook it. Cook it real good and give you a lot of portions, you know? And you can always go back for seconds. You, and you gotta make sure you get them leftovers, man. Them leftovers mean everything, man. They mean a lot. Make sure, man. Let's go. Make sure. If you think about it, that's the only time you're allowed to grab whatever you want and put it in your dorm in your fridge and not like, you know? Not worry about not having food for a little bit. Because you're going to devour that in three days. I'm not lying. You are. Because you, you, just, you don't want to go to the cafeteria. You do not. You do not. You don't want to go to the cafeteria. In some schools, some colleges have great cafeterias. But my school ain't the one. It ain't the one. No, 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 no. I know people, like the seniors tell us that the cafeteria used to be worse than it is now. And we're just like, good job. 